It is a long time coming. A major downtown thoroughfare named for a woman, an African-American woman. Ida was a boss. Politicians and supporters gathered ahead of today's city council meeting where it was declared that Congress Parkway, east of the Jane Byrne Interchange, running all the way to Grant Park, will now be known as Ida B. Wells Drive, a tribute to a journalist and community organizer who blazed a righteous trail for people of color in this city a century ago. I've always felt that my great-grandmother needed to be honored in a way that was fitting to who she was and what she did. The family of the suffragist and author, who was born a slave in 1862, pushed for this recognition, which was first supposed to supplant the name Balbo on the big avenue east of the loop until some Italian Americans complained. Congress is a much bigger um, street. It's, um, it feeds into the expressways, so there's some high, more highly traveled um, thoroughfare. So I think ultimately it kind of worked out. As seen at the Chicago History Museum, the takes of Ida B. Wells on the lynching of black men in the United States brought light to that scourge. And she, along with Frederick Douglass, opposed the 1893 World's Columbian Exhibition due to organizers' reluctance to incorporate black voices in its planning and storytelling. She countered the narrative of what was going on in the mainstream media at the time. Um, but she also was a suffragist. So, as you traverse Ida B. Wells Drive, know her work resonates more than a century later. She risked her life bringing light to lynchings and the trumped up charges used to justify them. I am honored to channel her spirit. Hmm. And uh, Ida B. Wells moved to Chicago in 1894 and her biographer said she had a dizzying array of suitors here. And so she eventually chose a man named Ferdinand Bennett, who was a prominent attorney and a newspaper publisher. And it is said because he shared and championed her views. And in her time here in Chicago, she worked on black settlement and she helped to found the NAACP. So Rob and Judy and all. Hey, if you like that video, be sure to subscribe to our ABC7 Chicago YouTube channel.